A different kind of question yeah. here. This comes from uh, our local supporter, Catherine. Yeah. She says, I am struggling to reconcile the commandment, honor thy father and mother with a relationship that has been mm, permeated mm, mm, with mm, gaslighting. Mm. Explain what that is for folks in sure. a second. And spiritual blackmail by a sibling and parent. Every spiritual book teaching points back to charity, not closing yourself off, staying in community, no, etc. No, the no, exact no. thing that have no. filled me with anxiety. How can I protect myself emotionally yeah. without it opposing my faith through self-reliance or rejecting my cross? What a wonderful That's question. That's a great question. And look, this is, um, this stuff is tough. It's nuanced. Um, but here's what I would say. A couple of things. One is, I'm not sure honor your father and mother means that you always have to be in relationship with them. I mean, here's one way of maybe conceiving of it is that um, the best way to honor, and she mentioned charity in there, to be yep. charitable, keep the relationship. Sometimes you'll hear this phrase used sometimes, uh, detach with love. Um, I've worked with parents of, of heroin addicts. <laughs> and sometimes Man, the most love. loving thing you can do is to close the door and say, look, when you're here, um, I, we've asked you not to, to shoot up in the house. We've asked you what, when you are in the house, you steal, you've stolen your father's car. You've stolen my purse. You've stolen our credit cards. You've, you, sometimes the most loving thing you can do is to remove the opportunity uh, for the person to fall deeper into harm or sin or, yeah. and so you close the door. Jesse Pinkman on Breaking Bad. I don't know if you ever watched that watched show, it. but no, no, he no. was the, he was a crack addict and his okay. parents kind of we're yeah. just struggling with that. Yeah. No, no. Look, it sounds so easy, right? Um, as a parent, I mean, what a tremendous cross hmm. to have to, um, and I've, I've done a fair amount of work with substance abusers and what a tremendous cross to have to do that with one of your children. Yeah. But sometimes we have to close the door because you being here isn't good for you. Like I love you enough to close the door because when you're here, you steal, you you engage in behaviors that are hurtful and harmful to you. They, and your siblings, maybe? You're si 100%. And so sometimes the loving thing, the truly love, wanting somebody else's good can be to close the door. I think a similar thing can be said about honoring our parents. I think one way to honor our parents is to not put them in a position to um, hurt or harm us. Um, because it, it, it's sort of trying in charity to prevent them from falling deeper into sin or not um, living up to the demands of their vocation, the demands of their role. So now how we do that, look, you don't have to like smash your dad's car window in with a brick, flip him the finger and scream as you walk away. You can say, I think, I think honoring your father and mother can be how you draw that boundary. It can be how you close the door. So it can be saying, look, dad, um, given the way things have been given that I'm not going to come home for Christmas or mm. it's not good for me to actually spend lots of time there. But you say it, you honor them in the tone you say it I in. I see. Yeah. Not don't confuse drawing a boundary or closing a door with not, uh, not honoring somebody. Um, I can honor them in the behavior of closing a door, especially depending on how I close the door. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do I slam? Okay. Yeah. Look, we're not, we're not called to be doormats. We're not called to be abused. We're not called to be, um, if you're, if you're, I think you asked about gaslighting, gaslighting, yeah. I think it, the term comes from an old yeah, movie, movie like in the forties, right? Where the husband was trying to get his wife to commit suicide, I yeah, believe. And, and, and we keep adjusting crazy. the gas lamp and then be like, yeah, no, this is yeah, you. This is yeah, you. Yeah. 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 It's and so it's oh, somebody such a great makes you feel, it really right. Somebody makes you feel crazy, um, and when you have a legitimate concern, a difficulty, right, and or, or observation, you bring it up, you note it, and they say, no, that's not, mm -mm, that's not mm -hmm. how it is. That's not what I said. That's not what I. They always put it back on you, like you're the crazy one. Um, this is this is like our political conversation oh, dude, between conservatives and liberals, right? right? You can't or have leftists. One hundred percent. You can't yeah. have it. I mean, it's just that's that's a great point, actually. Um, yeah, we live in a we live in a country with divorced parents who hate each other and keep yeah. gaslighting each other, yes. and we're the kids who are like, "Can we get a different country, 100%. parent? No, we can't. We're stuck here. Great. All right, let's Great. do this. Great." <laughs> yeah. Dr. Matthew, could you lower your mic a little bit? It's in the way the camera. Yeah, you want to see that beautiful face? That, yeah, that. thanks. All right. Um, can I? Did you want to? No, sing? I mean, I think I look. I just wouldn't yeah. get. Don't don't become afraid that uh, by closing a door or by drawing a boundary 
that you're not loving your parents. It, that's, it, that's really it, that's helpful. Really important. It sounds like she was getting kind of the opposite sort of advice. Oh, like, and people will, I mean, people will tell you, oh, you're not being loving. You've cl-. no, you absolutely, we need to cut people out of our life sometimes who are toxic. Um, it doesn't mean I don't pray for them. I can love people through, I mean, if I really believe in intercessory prayer and, mm. and I can pray for some, I can fast for somebody. Yeah. I can make great acts of spiritual love without having to be in the firing line of toxic Toxic is another and, one of these li- words that yeah, came up. All the time. I almost made a joke, all the time. like cutting out people who are toxic. Like, yeah, like that barista who is dismissive of me and didn't <laughs> recognize that I run pints with Aquinas, <laughs> damn it. Right, like, I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, how do you know that they're being toxic and you're yeah. not just reacting out of your own woundedness? Right, and l- look, like, I mean, that's I think the that is, question. that's difficult. And I think some people are really quick to always point the, the finger at somebody else being toxic. Yeah. And this if, is where, if, if that's what you're doing, I know. maybe at, it's you. At some point you have to say, right? Like I look out and I say, how many people in my life do I think are hurting, harming her? And when I'm pointing the finger all the time, yeah. so-and-so is my problem. So-and-so is my problem. So it's like, probably not. <laughs> like probably not. Yeah, and we a, all know a people good that are sort of test. always pointing yeah. the finger. And I mean, again, this is a subjective help. experience, but yeah, like you can tell the difference between someone. Yeah. So what 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 would we mean by toxic? Yeah, I, there's all yeah, sorts yeah. of ways somebody no, could be toxic sure. that we could be toxic, but yeah. just kind of give us a the way, short. Yeah. Sort the of, way I'm thinking about it, at least with this question, is um, when she said somebody who's gaslighting, somebody who's engaging in behaviors mm. that are uh, legitimately emotionally or spiritually harmful to you. Um, or potentially physically harmful to you. Um, that's always putting you in a position of um, maybe having to be the one that takes responsibility for the situation as well, yeah, yeah. rather than acknowledging their own actions. So, yeah, I, I'm using toxic generically as a as a sort of catch all for emotionally, spiritually, or physically abusive behaviors. Mm. Again, it, we need to have some self knowledge there because not everything that feels bad to me is toxic. When what my is, wife says, Matt, you were kind of mean to the kids. And I'm like, talk, how dare you make me? What a toxic, like, no, like that's me, right? What is the DSM-6 going to say about toxic, yeah, toxic masculinity? Can I be honest? DSM-6, I'm yeah, joking. Yeah. They're Next coming one. out with a TR, oh. a, a revised edition soon. Yeah, and I wonder if we'll have. Oh, dear God. Um, hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.